It's a nightmare situation. You've had plastic surgery and you don't like the results. You're not happy, the surgeon's not happy. But with rapidly rising number of doctors calling themselves plastic surgeons, complaints are starting to jump. Medical reporter John Hammerly is here to tell us how one North Texas surgeon is trying to correct mistakes without ever lifting a scalpel. John. Clarice, it may be a surprise to many people, but the only thing doctors need to legally call themselves a, a plastic surgeon in Texas is a medical license. So it's not surprising the number of doctors jumping into the lucrative cash-only subspecialty has skyrocketed in recent years. It's probably also not surprising the number of dissatisfied patients is on the rise, too. That's where Dr. Sam Lamb says he can help. I had been recently divorced and I probably felt a little bit down about that and I just wanted to make myself look better. So six years ago, Shanna Teal went in for plastic surgery, said she was talked into getting cheek implants, and has been unhappy ever since. They stick out here, and it's not at all, it's not me. Dr. Sam Lamb says See a good percentage of his facial plastic surgery is business is correcting his colleagues' operations. Because a person coming to me can't recognize themselves after cosmetic surgery. They don't look the same as they did. Dr. Lamb says to fix previous plastic surgeries, he takes the opposite approach many surgeons take. What I do is almost the antithesis of what is being done in Dallas. Because traditionally what is being done is lifting and pulling and stretching. What I call taking the frame away from the eye. What I do is I put it back in. He does so not by making more surgical cuts and pulls, but by transferring fat. I think we're going to pull three syringes each side. Harvesting and then distilling fat from Shanna's own body, Dr. Lamb then delicately injects the purified fat into those areas of the face, usually in the cheek area around the eye, to soften, bolster, and rejuvenate sagging areas drawn down by Father Time. Now it should be just a matter of a few weeks before Sean is looking like her old self, or should I say her old young self. Shanna's had a brow lift, eyelid surgery, and a cheek implant, and what that's done is it's further hollowed her eye. And all traditional surgery further hollows the eye. What I did was reframe the eye and blend the face and emphasize the anterior cheek, which is the most feminizing attribute, and really brought her identity back. Now, Dr. Lamb, Shanna, and, and her implants. mother are happy with the end result. The eye. She gave me a hug and said, I've got my Shanna back. And she almost cried. Dr. Lamb says not only do the fat injections last, but they improve the looks of a patient over the course of several years. And the cost comparison, a traditional full facelift is at least three times the amount of Dr. Lamb's fat grant.